Um, I don't know, I think this is like the third egg cutting of the year, so. This is a small clutch, it's only three eggs. The pairing was a mahogany pie to an inchy pinstripe pie. So every baby should be a pie. Um, obviously we wanna see mahogany inchy pinstripe pies in here, but um, it's three eggs, so we'll see what happens, how the odds play out. I just honestly, I just kinda wanna see mahogany pies come out because those are a lot more rare than the other ones. So we got three eggs, or I mean, there's no, any, no yolk in here, as far as I know. Um, they're all pretty, pretty um, squished in. So here's the first one. What we get. Okay. Come on. I can't get my finger to go in there and grab. Here we go. Looks like we got a Pinstripe pied, possibly inchy. No, yeah, definitely inchy pinstripe pied. Um, it's a little dark. Could this be the mahogany inchy pinstripe pied? Um, even in the egg, usually in the egg they're much lighter because they haven't actually fully developed their color. Even though these are probably due to hatch any day now, so it wouldn't have even. I don't think their color much, would have changed much, but. Definitely a uh, inchy pinstripe pied, possibly mahogany. And I was just talking about how I would want to see one with all three. So that's possibly all three right there. It's pretty good. All right, second egg. Uh, hopefully that's a male because that would replace the dad. Second egg. What do we got here? Oh wow, this is a, another pinstripe pied, but this one is super dark. I'm pretty sure this is a mahogany pinstripe pied. Um, it also has really nice oranges around the saddle. It could be inchy. This one's a lot darker than this one, so maybe this one is the mahogany, and that one's just an inchy pinstripe pied. So, pretty cool so far. I mean, both of them have been inchy pinstripes. Uh, or both of them have been pinstripes and both of them have really nice oranges around the saddles so it could both be inchy as well but this one's definitely darker than the other one so I want to say that that one for sure is mahogany and maybe this one's not mahogany so we'll see we'll see when they come out should be out here soon it shouldn't take them too long to come out third egg last egg Maybe it's a surprise. Oof. This one's really nice. It's crazy, look how dark the back of the tail is. There's a lot of white on this one. Can't really tell, it's a pinstripe. So it's a like pinstripe pied. And um, again, there's a lot of darkness to it, so it could just be a nice dark pinstripe pied, but We'll know for sure when they all come out of the egg, but this one here, this one is so dark, I'm positive this one's mahogany. And this one just be an inchy pinstripe now that I'm looking at it. So inchy pinstripe, mahogany pinstripe, and um, maybe just pinstripe. I'm not really sure. We'll know for sure when they come out, but wow. Crazy, everything came out pinstripe. At least it's what it looks like. I mean, this one could just be no, everything would have came out pinstripe because this is not really a regular pattern for a pie. This is having pinstriping down the back like that. That's not really regular for pie. So that even if it was an inchy pie or a mahogany pie, it wouldn't have that pinstripe coming down the back. So that's why I'm thinking it's pinstripe because it's really, it's a stripe going down the back, going down the dorsal there. And it's super dark. So that's where the mahogany comes in. But it's interesting that everything came out pinstripe. Now, the mom, the dam to this clutch was a pinstripe, and I don't know where her parents were, so they could have both been pinstripe, and then she could have been a super pinstripe, but um, the person that I got them from is uh, one of those big breeders that doesn't really share their, um, or I don't know if they don't share it or if just don't remember the, the pairings, but um, yeah, so I didn't really get that information, but pretty cool. Everything came out pinstripe. Um, as far as I can tell, everything came out pinstripe, with this one being a mahogany pinstripe, this one being an inchy pin, 
And as much as I can see on this one, it's just a regular pinstripe. Um, but it did have a really dark spot there on the tail, so who knows? Um, but pretty good. I mean, everything's pied, so that's obviously a plus. Everything's pied, um, so that's pretty fun there. So just a matter of time of them coming out, and um, once they come out, I'll record that, and you'll get to see what all that looks like. But pretty neat. I like this. So my favorite type of pied is pieds that have white end pattern. Uh, I like high, I either like high pattern pies or medium level pies, and this one appears to be kind of medium. Uh, there's a lot of white showing, but it's not all white, so you can kind of see exactly what you got in terms of morphs and genetics. Um, but this one is very high pattern, and this one's very high pattern as well. So, and Enchi pinstripe pies do that because Enchi makes more pattern, and pinstripe makes more pattern, so you get almost all pattern snakes, which is pretty nice. But I know I keep talking about this one, but you can kind of see on this one where the pattern is all down the sides there. So it's obviously a pied. Like I said, everything should be pied. Super cool. I mean, this is a dark snake. So positive that it's a, a mahogany pinstripe pied. So that's pretty neat. All right. Now wait for them to come out and we will talk about what we got. And hopefully the odds of genders are pretty good. Um, because I at least want one male that's mahogany so I can replace the dad with, you know, Enchi and Pinstripe and stuff like that. Um, hopefully this mahogany Pinstripe is a, a male. Watch well, it be a female now that I've said that because, you know, that's how things work. But, alright, let's go and we'll meet up when they all are out of the eggs. So, the baby's are out of the egg now and we're going to look in this little photo box here and see what we got. Um, I think, pretty nice, I'm not going to lie. I'm, but I'm a fan of pied, so I'm a sucker for any combo with pied in it. Now, I do want to mention a few things before we get into talking about the babies. Um, I'm not really sure on one of them, so let's just get that out of the way. So if you see me like still guessing everything on there while I'm, on, I'm recording the video, that's why. I'm not 100% sure on this one snake, but the other two snakes I'm not pretty sure about. So let's go ahead and look at what we got. So let's just get this one out of the way because this thing is unreal. This is definitely a mahogany pied. However, I don't know what else is in there. So usually mahogany pieds don't have the orange saddles. So I, let me see if I can get her to... Yes, this is a female, by the way. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that. But the orange on the saddle, so all around the edges of the saddles, you can see how orange and bright it is. And usually mahogany pieds don't have that, but... There she is, all of those oranges that she has on her saddles. So, and the light honestly is doing a really bad trick on brightening everything up, but this is definitely a mahogany pied, and saddles are really orange just around the sides there. And again, I don't know why that would be, because she is not inchy. Now the pairing, let's go back talk about what the pairing was. The pairing was mahogany pied to an inchy pinstripe pied. There's no Enchi. You can't see Enchi in this snake. However, the coloration on the outside of the saddles there screams Enchi. So, what could it be? Now, I know in the video uh, when I was cutting the egg, I said, oh, it could be pinstripe mahogany pied, but now that it's out, there's no pinstriping. Um, I could only see, like, honestly, a little bit portion back there, and I thought maybe the, there was pinstriping because it was dotted, but no, it's just where the angle was of the egg stop trying to hide from the camera you know but definitely a mahogany pied there's the eye stripes don't scream enchi but the coloration of the pied itself screams enchi so i'm not sure exactly what we have here but it's a female mahogany pied possible enchi and uh, that's the only thing other thing in the pairing that i know about um so yeah and a mahogany pod would have saddles that um, have black outlines. This also doesn't have that. It has a little bit, so you can kind of see it back there. Some black outlines on the saddles, but not enough to where I would say this is uh, just a mahogany pod. So I'm pretty sure, pretty positive that this is an inchy mahogany pod, but I'm not 100% sure because the eye stripes do not scream inchy. And... Um, there's not really an inchy pattern per se, but that's not a that's not a thing that really matters when you're talking about pied because some pieds that have inchy in them don't have an inchy pattern. 
um, and some of them have a really good inchy pattern. So I do have an inchy mahogany pied, and I'll put a picture of her uh, so you can see what she looks like. But this does not look like that. But in terms of the coloration on the saddles, it does look like that. So we'll see what happens. I'll I'll, I'll ask around. And see, you can look at that head. The head goes from super dark to orange. Like it's crazy. I like it. Um, so as of right now, I don't think I'm getting rid of her because I don't really know what she is. So once I found out what she is, after maybe a couple sheds, she'll start screaming more mahogany and less inchy. And um, we'll see. But um, as of right now, definitely, I think mahogany, possible inchy pied. So let's go look at her siblings. Remember, it was only three eggs. So let's see what we got. This next one here is an inchy pinstripe pied. She looks just like the mom. The mom also is very low white, so very similar to the mom. This camera, for some reason, isn't focusing very well um, today, so look at that. Come on, move around so people can see your saddles, <laughs> your, your little low white saddles. Oh, no, I put the snake upside down. Sometimes it's the only way you can get him to move, and she's still not moving. Gosh. All right. Let's see if I can stretch her out. And there you have it. Inchy pinstripe pied. Very low white. This is kind of how I like my pieds. Low white. Um, I don't think there's mahogany in this. However, I'm not 100% sure. Because there's also a lot of darkening areas on the top of the body there. You can kind of see it all through where the pinstriping is. Off to the sides, it's like orange. It goes from the brown pinstripes to like a light brown and then an orange for the inchy. But it's, I mean, even on the end of the tail there, look at that. The tail has dark on it. So, I don't know. Super nice though. Female. I think I already mentioned that. So, let's go look at the last baby in the clutch. So the last baby in the clutch is another inchy pinstripe pied. This one obviously has a lot more white. This guy is honestly super nice. So it's either, I don't like low white or low pattern pies or high white pieds. I prefer low white pies or medium white pieds like this guy here. Um, but this guy, again, inchy pinstripe pied. And this guy is, it's not as dark as his sister that I just showed. So let me see if I can get him to show his back a little bit. So he doesn't have the darkening that I was talking about with his sister. And also, it's really orange. And the, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but this guy, definitely inchy pinstripe pied. Um, let me bring his sister and I'll show you the differences real quick before I, can, before I end the video. All right, here we have it. So now that I'm putting them next to each other, actually, he does kind of have that darkening look right about here in this area. A lot of little dark spots there, but she has it going all the way down, all the way to the tip of the tail. So, I don't know. Both of these are inchy pinstripe pieds, so there's no if, ands, or buts. And now that I'm looking at them, let me bring the third one, the first one that I showed out, and I want to talk about that real quick. So, uh, before I, I go off and go into a rant or whatever, not really a rant, I want to talk about Inchi. So, Inchi um, actually makes the snakes have green eyes. So, you can kind of see it on that right one over there. It's still dark, but it has a green hue to it. And if I can get this guy to show his head, wherever it went. Come on, dude. So, there you go. Essentially, they have a green hue to them. They're kind of like a, a dark brown color with some green in them. And this female that I said possibly inchy, hers are just black. So, now that I'm looking at them, I've already been looking at them. I, I, just, I sexed them really and I said, all oh, these are pretty cool. And then I decided to make the video. What's wrong with you, dude? Fix yourself. <laughs> Fix himself just means balls up, apparently. Um, so yeah, now that I'm looking at them all together, the middle one is definitely not inchy. And then we have a 1.1 inchy pinstripe pied. So this entire clutch was two females, one male, uh, one mahogany female, two inchy pinstripe pieds. Um, so 
1.1 there, and then a 0.1 mahogany pied. Pretty nice. Where are you going? Let me take a snapshot right here while I got them. This will be the thumbnail, if I can get it to focus. All right, super nice. Um, obviously, the members get these first, and uh, whoever doesn't get picked up gets put on for sale for the rest of the public, so there you go. But like I said, I'm really sure what I'm going to do with this middle one. Um, I don't know. All right. So if you made it this far into the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that I put out in the future. As always, peace.